Dishonored is a first-person action game where you play the role of a supernatural assassin. The game takes place in a steampunk city. It's called Dunwall. And you play a man named Corvo, who is royal protector to the Empress. And uh, at the beginning of the game, you are falsely accused of her murder. And then you spend the rest of the game making things right, clearing your name, going after revenge, whatever, however you see it as a player. And uh, the game involves a series of high-profile targets across the city that you uh, can eliminate in a variety of ways. It's mission-based. You go from missions to mission, and between missions you come back to a home base where you can upgrade your equipment. Uh, however, the nature, the moment-to-moment the, the, the -moment nature of the game is very sandboxy. Like, it, it will really allow you to, you know, tactically approach the uh, situation wherever, however you want, and, uh, and so it's every, a lot is simulated and relies on simulation to resolve what, whatever the, the player does and tries. Also, the geometry itself of the level. Yeah, so the we, we really, yeah, we set up, we set it up so that it's you know there's verticality to explore this place. You can also like uh, go through the water or go to the left of the building or the right of the building. Uh, so all that combined provides for a very sandboxy experience where really the player, you know, each playthrough is a little different. All players can use a employ a, a short range teleport that we call Blink. Uh, players can stop time, uh, bullets hang in the air if you do that at the right moment. Uh, players can summon rats, they can possess creatures in the world or characters in the world, and it's not, it's not just limited to a few characters. So then people are putting combinations together, you know, they're summoning rats and possessing one of them, um, and then sneaking around, running under a table, going through a rat hole. They're doing things like jumping off of a four-story building a fall that would have killed them, but on the way down they see a guard on patrol and they possess the guard. And It's a corporeal possession, so they go into the guard and then walk past the guard checkpoint where the other guards are. And it's just a wide range of powers. One thing you could say about Dishonored is that you can approach any situation like full-on combat or you can sneak. You can like, you know, be behind a pillar and lean out around it your body hidden so no one sees you so that you can see what's in the next room. You can peek through keyholes. Uh, there's very much an eavesdropping uh, component to the game where you listen, you can pick up clues. It changes your goals based on what you've overheard. Uh, you can murder everyone in the map or the characters in the map won't even know you're there. You know, it's, it's, you could go one extreme or the other or some combination of the two. Obviously, a lot of players are just going to try the most direct path at first. Yeah. And, they want to uh, feel powerful. Yeah, they want to feel powerful. So they will just like try the. And some of them are going to be like the thief fans. We will we, we want to you know sneak in shadows and see how well we will support that. But most people are as, uh, are going to be very direct. And as long as they have fun, then it, then you know it's a win for us. Chaos stuff is is it's kind of a weird directorial call, but we wanted to kind of go in the opposite direction. So we just like pushed all of that down. It's we're more tracking the it. scene. Yeah, we, we're tracking how many people you've killed and uh, when you've done a little thing that is like considered, you know, very destabilizing versus lower chaos, basically. And we branch here and there with the fiction and we branch the end games. And there are places where there would have been a pocket of survivors in the middle of this plague, but instead there are a po pocket of weepers, meaning people that are in late stage infection with like, you know, blood from the eyes and they're, they're kind of crazed. But it's a more subtle thing, and we don't we don't think most players are going to, to pay attention. We have all these mobility options, like teleportation and climbing and slide and all these other little mobility features. When you combine uh, the range of combat all the way to like ghost-like stealth with the mobility in between, and all of the powers that we've got, the very analog AI and the and the gadgets and powers and upgrades. Uh, it feels like you've told your own little path. There's not just one way through a mission, right? It's not a linear path. But sometimes players will find their own way to do things that we did not know. And uh, so, for example, we have one power, which is uh, blink, this kind of teleportation. Uh, and we have another power, which is the double jump. And uh, if you have both, then you can access to places we don't, you don't even know that you could. And uh, at first, it's like you, you freak out as, a, as you know, from a level design standpoint. Christoph was like, ah, I don't want the players to go there. And then, like, really, when you look at it and, and you let it uh, exist for a while instead of just fixing it, you just realize that it's actually really cool because, like, uh -huh. not mo not every player is going to do it. The ones that do it are going to 
feel like they are special because they found it somewhere. Uh, but, the, but the first time we saw that, like a guy was on one rooftop looking out over a street and a big courtyard with a watchtower that was like moving around. The watchtower is a very powerful enemy in our game. And the idea here is like you might have to get down to the balcony, go down to the street, cross the street, go up into another building, get on the roof there and head toward the, the watchtower, down toward the courtyard. And instead, the guy just sprinted off the roof, leapt as far as he could, and in midair blinked the rest of the distance to the other roof on the other side of the courtyard, crossing like 60 meters. And we were That's just cool. like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Well done. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's awesome.